Hey guys, today we're unboxing this, the Hisense HS214. This is a 2.1 all-in-one soundbar with this built-in subwoofer, 108 watts, all the connections you need, Bluetooth, everything that you can that you can need in a center speaker this thing has got. And uh, it's just a little compact design to fit any small environment or uh, just to make your whole setup a bit neater. So let's get it out of the box and see what you get. All right, when you open up the box, you get along with a speaker, a little booklet and a optical cable for your optical uh, input on the speaker. You get a little cable pack with your power cable, wall mount screws, your power cable, this is a figure 8 connection that gives the unit power and you get two permanently triple A batteries. I do not know this make of batteries but the remotes always comes with some kind of a, a weird battery included. You also get a very nice little remote control not those flat ones which is a decent kind of a remote control and you get the speaker so let's get this out of the box oh it's quite a heavy speaker nicely packaged in sturdy foam And there you go, the HS214. Unboxed and uh, it's got a like a textured kind of a finish here, like it looks like leather, but it is plastic. Very nice finish here. If we have a look at the back of the speaker, there you've got the holes where you can wall mount the speaker with these little screws it seems like there's a little IR window here at the back of the speaker also um, you can see that the power cord plugs neatly into this little cut out or cavity and on this side you have space for a USB your optical uh, there's an auxiliary cable still you can plug that in a HDMI and coaxial on the sides of the speaker you've got these passive or breathing holes for the subwoofer. Uh, I don't think it's not passive, I'll show you the subwoofer now. Uh, this side is actually just for aesthetic. The other side has actually got uh, a hole straight down to the, uh, to the subwoofer. At the bottom of the speaker here you can find the subwoofer. So it's got a little subwoofer in the middle of the speaker and also at the bottom you've got these nice rubber feet that will make the speaker not uh, make vibrations on the counter or what's standing on so in the in the front of the speaker you've got this metal mesh and what i can see if i turn it in in the light um, at certain angles there's a speaker over here one of those oval kind of speakers and also one on this side and then um, also maybe there's an uh, infrared receiver here I yeah it looks like it's it's behind the mesh over there so this looks like it can receive either infrared from the front and the back or this will be to um, you know repeat the infrared from f from a remote to the TV's infrared um, I do not know the purpose of this exactly but we'll see so let's get this plugged in and just have a listen at how it sounds all right so i've connected the power to the speaker when you plug it in it gets a little red light in front and each one of these modes changes this light to a different color so that's just to indicate in bluetooth mode aux, uh, uh, coaxial mode optical mode whatever mode this is in uh, you can see that just from looking at the light let's quickly get those batteries in the remote 
All right, so the, the remote is very, it's very lightweight, but it is, as I said, a good quality remote. It's got good quality buttons. Uh, let's, uh, let's quickly insert those uh, questionable nice batteries. It's free batteries, what can, what can I say? All right, so let's just pop them in there, close that up. And uh, I'm gonna use the remote to quickly just turn on the speaker. Um, and I will hold it so that you can see the light when I press the power button You can see that it flashes and it remembers If it's in Bluetooth mode, it'll always go to Bluetooth mode if it was lost in optical mode It'll go to optical mode and uh, Every time you switch it on it'll it'll return to the mode it was in All right, I've got a Bluetooth device already connected to this uh, let's quickly just hop through the different uh, input modes. So if I press the source button on the remote, it'll change to the next mode, which will be USB. The next one is auxiliary, which is green. Let's go back to the first one, which is optical. Coaxial is a, a, almost the same color as the Bluetooth, but you can definitely see that this is a light blue and the Bluetooth um, oh, sorry, that will be the HDMI ARC mode. So it's got HDMI ARC if, you can, if your television has got that. If you press it again, it's a dark blue for, <laughs> for the Bluetooth. And it is connecting to my Bluetooth device. There you go. On the remote, you've got uh, bass plus and minus. You've got volume plus and minus. And it seems like you've got a play, skip and a next, uh, back and next mode also on the remote to uh, skip and play music. So if I play the, press the play button, um, it'll then um, tell the Bluetooth device to start playing. Oh, you've got also, you've got a few modes at the top. So you can uh, decide if you want a movie sound, a music sound or a news kind of a sound or you can mute it and uh, obviously you can turn it off. Um, just uh, before we test that uh, let me just quickly show you it's also got a dimmer um, function on the remote so when you press the dim button if you have a look at the light it goes dimmer and even more dim if you press it again it'll even turn it off so if if you're a person that's sensitive to lights or lights that irritates you in the in the room you can just dim that and then you don't have another light that shines in your eye um, when the speaker is on it might be just in my case, but uh, or with my fingers or whatever. But the touch buttons is not that sensitive. So if I press the the button for the uh, sources, sometimes it will uh, it will not respond. But well, now it, it just responds every time. But uh, it's not as not as sensitive as uh, as I would would have thought it would be. Well, the off button, if you just touch that, it immediately turns the speaker off. So just be uh, just be patient with the touch buttons. Uh, rather use the remote. All right, so I know that this is on a video and it's not a, a nice clear presentation of how the sounds of this thing is. But let me quickly press play here. Um, I'm just going to play a non-copyright thing on YouTube. And then I will turn up the volume and turn up the bass. I'm going to turn up the volume now to uh, almost max.
So yeah, as you can hear, it's got a lot of sound. Um, it depends on what you're looking or watching, um, what, you're wa what you're watching. So the movie, music and news um, features on the remote will change the sound of this thing. The bass plus and minus will change the sound of the thing. The surround button will change the, the feeling and the sound of the... All, all of the features is just sound enhancements and um, preferences for different, different kind of ways to, to listen to your music and movies. And uh, just let me quickly show you one thing. If you press the bass button and it's at the max bass, it'll indicate it like, like this. So you, you'll press the, the button and the light will flash once. Uh, once you um, reach max, it'll flash like two or three times. So it's just an indication that now the bass is maxed out. Uh, let me just quickly show you when I, when I press the play button on the remote, it'll start the YouTube. So they just, and when you, when you skip the song, it'll skip the song also on the, on the YouTube. Let me just stop that. Yeah, so you can you can uh, control your Bluetooth device with the remote, not the volume. You can you can do the volume uh, on your device. You'll have to max the volume, and then on this you'll have to um, then control the volume or control the volume on your device and leave this at max. So let's quickly press the music, news, and movie buttons. Um, also in that previous song, maybe just to hear how it how it sounds and what difference it makes to the sound. Movie, music. News. All right, so definitely the uh, the movie button is more focused on voices. Uh, the music button is more bassy and full, more, a much nicer sound. And the news button is absolutely just, it's got no bass. <laughs> it's just uh, to listen to whatever somebody's saying. So movie has got a more a, more of a tony sound. This has got a full sound, and this has got a very very screechy, uh, sharp kind of a sound. Then the surround sound button. Yeah, so a big difference in sound um, when you press this around button. Um, this is all personal preference, but yes, the speaker's sound quality is good. Um, I like the way it it's delivers the sound. It's crisp and it's a, it's a nice clear sound. Um, I did get a bit of uh, rattling sound from the metal grid, uh, but it could just be on a certain frequency. Um, but I didn't. Um, I only only noticed it one time. So I don't know if that was just um, like growing pains or yeah, because it's a new thing. Um, but uh, now it's it's quiet and it's it's working perfectly. So yeah, that's the uh, Hisense H S two one four unboxed, and we had listened to it. And uh, very nice speaker. Uh, we'll install this on the wall, mount it, and use it as a permanent speaker addition to the television speaker. Because the television speaker is 15 watts, and this thing is 108 watts. So yeah, that'll definitely upgrade our television sound. So uh, hopefully this helped you. Decide if you want it, or uh, what if this is the speaker for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's what you get in the box. Hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching.